Have you ever heard someone say that they lived a horrible life, done some horrible things in their life, but they don't regret anything that they've done because it has made them what they are today? Now, if you have heard that before, or maybe you have even said that yourself, that is something that like uh, you shouldn't be saying. It's really kind of falls in the lane of stupidity. You know, so when you say that it made you what you are today, if you're banging and in violence and out there uh, committing crimes, victimizing people, killing people and things like that, you mean that that's something that you're proud of? That's a legacy that you want to leave behind for your children, your grandchildren and uh, for the world to see and talk about that of how horrible a person you were uh, in regards to the life that you lived in the past and um, not regretting it and so on. So. I hear people say this a lot of time. And I don't think they really understand and know what they mean when they say that, that I have no regrets. It made me what I am today. The question that you have to ask yourself is, what are you today? Right. And and so like, you know, myself being a former gang member, you know, I, I live I lived a horrible life and done some horrible things. But let me tell you something. I regret every single thing that I've done, every evil, wicked, sinful, evil thing that I've done. I regret it. And if I can go back and do it again, I would do everything differently, right? And so, you know, I find people uh, become proud of their crimes, become proud of the evil, wicked things that they've done. Uh, they, they, when they tell their stories, they say they're not trying to glorify, but they really are trying to glorify that stuff, right? And it's, it's pathetic when an individual has nothing to offer us but violence and crime and evil and wickedness that they have committed and lived in the past. Where do we go from here and where do we start today when you talk about regretting the things that you've done? So yes, I have a lot of regret. You know, I I regret um, the violence that I've committed. I regret uh, the house, all the houses I broke into, all the cars I've broken into, all the people that I robbed, right? I regret those things. I regret dropping out of high school. I regret, um, having sex out of wedlock and having children and not married. I regret those things because guess what? Not only do I suffer, but the people involved suffer and the community suffer. And we don't want that. So we do do things in the past and we have to own that and we have to take responsibility for that, right? But there should be some sense of regret. When you talk about regret, you're talking about feeling sorry or feeling bad or being unhappy about something. And the word that I really like about regret falls in line with my uh, faith, right? Is repentance, right? Because if you're going to uh, claim that you have a relationship with God or claim that you're saved or uh, uh, mention God in your mouth, uh, every evil and simple thing that you've done in the past, you have to regret it. You have to have regret. You have to have remorse. You have to have sorrow, and which is part of repentance. You have to have repentance, which means you have you feel bad about what you've done. You change your mind, and you don't you you regret it. You you if you can go back and fix it, you would, but you can't. But what you're gonna do? You're gonna better your life, and you're gonna do better, and you're gonna renounce those things in the past because it made you something that is evil. It made you into something that is a monster or a boogeyman. That's what it did for you. It it, it harmed you. Uh, many people have felonies that you can't even go buy a firearm legally um, because of that. And, and, these, and these criminal backgrounds with felonies and other different type of crimes that you commit. Uh, and that is on your record, right? And so those things will hold you back and keep you from really moving in the future uh, to greater and bigger and better things, right? It's really all about your character. It's really all about your personality. And it's really all about integrity, right? And trust and so on. And so um, if you're going to prosper and do well in society. So we should move away from talking and saying that I, I have no regrets. Yes, it was wrong what I did. It was evil what I did. But I don't regret it because it made me what I am today. And you proud of what you are today? I wouldn't be. So let's stop saying I regret it, right? I mean, that I that I don't regret it, excuse me, but it's time to start regretting, repenting, and turning from that. We'll have a better community, better families, better society, better people, right? And then our young people can have something to look up to, and maybe as you move forward, you'll be able to build a legacy. 
So quit talking about you don't regret it. You know you regret it because when you get a consciousness and you start thinking about, especially when it's harming people and you can live with yourself and, and smile and feel good about the, the people you harm, the things that you've done, you're sick. Some of you need to go get some help because something's really wrong with you if you think that way. No decent human being is going to look back and see the harm that they've done to other people and, and feel great about that or smile about that or say it was fun or it made me who I am today. Again, I ask you, who are you today? How do you, because you, 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 you're, you're, that, that makes you a monster, that makes you a murderer, that makes you a violent person. And if you're not that mo no more, why aren't you that anymore, right? What you do, you change your life? Why did you change your life, right? You have to be able to look at your past and see that those, those not only those things are wrong, but you have to have some type of remorse or regret to move you to change. Otherwise, it's just under the surface and you really haven't changed at all.